This was our hike on the Brins Mezzo Trail. It was not the hike that we were planning to do, but you can see even here, water was everywhere. Uh, we were planning to do the Jim Thompson Trail, which starts roughly in the same area, but um, we, we had to wash out. The creeks are just uh, surging with, the, with water from all the rain that we've had over the past few days. So this has been the first day in a couple of days that we've been able to do a hike. Uh, and when we did this one, we experienced uh, a lot of water on the trail and a lot of mud on the trail. Brins Meza has um, an elevation rise when you do this trail of about 900 feet or so. Now compared to the hike that we did at Bear Mountain, which is very, very difficult for us, a hike like this was quite easy. I mean, your heart rate does climb as you get towards the uh, main part of the ascent, but it's not that steep and it's not uh, it's not that hard. So we, we really found it um, to be a bit of an easier go. Now we have done this trail once before, and when we did it before, I think it was our second day here, and you know, maybe we weren't acclimated to the altitude uh, changes, but really, aside from a bit of uh, uh, you know heart rate increase, it was uh, it was easy. Now coming across, you know, we had this sort of really cloudy, dramatic type weather, uh, and then we come into you know what was beautiful sunshine and uh, a really nice day. But you can see from from the trail here that it, a lot of mud, a lot of and this water. I mean, this this was towards the end of the Brenz Mesa outward leg. Um, you know, this one wasn't hard to jump over, at least not for me. You know, I just got on there, took a look, and said, "Well, all right, so I guess I have to get over to the uh, to the other side." And away I go. Lorraine had more difficulty because it's uh, a pretty long um, jump. Um, we had to turn around because when we went further on Prince Meza, uh, it was it was also washed out. At this point, we were probably about two hours uh, out from the uh, start of our hike, and so then we started making our way back. And you can see from the video here, you can see all the water on the uh, on the trail, uh, and it made it uh, quite <laughs> quite interesting to sort of walk through. Uh, you know, I got my right foot saturated in mud in one spot, and, um, and of course, you know, feet are wet. Uh, same yep. for uh, same for Lorraine. Yep. So uh, at times we're trying to avoid <laughs> the really really wet uh, and muddy spots, but you know, yes. but people like this were brave. They came out there with nothing, no backpack, no supplies, running shoes. Um, just doesn't. I don't know. Look at my face. I'm I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway. We came down and uh, and the weather started breaking again. Looking back from where we descended, you know, it's covered in mist and we had we had snow. We had snow and we had rain. We had to put our rain gear on um, and then you know make our way back to uh, uh, to the trailhead. But as we were making our way back to the trailhead, you know, it it was cloudy and then all of a sudden it just it just broke and we had this wonderful sunshine emerge. I could take uh, you know this picture of what I call the friendly giant. It you know it sort of has that kind of facial thing, but you can see how nice the sky is, and and this is us at the end of the trailhead. You know you think it was just a nice uh, you know spring day.